Hey Lemans, welcome back to another video of mine. Animal Jam was first released in September 2010 for desktop players. Then, after years of the game's success, Wildworks released Animal Jam Play Wild in August 2015. And we now know that mobile game as just Animal Jam, where the older desktop version is called Animal Jam Classic. Even though Animal Jam Classic was successful in the past, currently, the mobile version of Animal Jam is more successful to Wildworks which is why they update it every month with new animals, dens, and features. I'm aware there is Animal Jam Classic players out there who miss their old game getting updates and new features, although you do have to understand why Wildworks is making this decision, as Animal Jam Mobile just happens to have better money income at this point in time, which is, again, the reason Animal Jam Mobile gets way more focus and attention. With this all said, over the years, Wildworks has been keeping up with Animal Jam Mobile by adding new features and improvements, and I can genuinely say they have kept me and other people interested in the game. One of their biggest features that's came out in the past five years was the My Shop, where you could sell or buy items for sapphires and gems. This alone changed Animal Jam. Up until this point, trading was mostly the main reason why players were so addicted and invested in Animal Jam. With the additions of the My Shops and Explore, it added a whole new way to get and sell items. The thing is, Animal Jam is able to be an addictive and exciting game because of their in-game rarity system. I honestly don't know if it would be as popular without it. So many players want to get rare, or at least have items they dream of getting on the game, which unknowingly keeps them on the game. As that desire to get something can be that strong, I would know. I have achieved many dream items of mine over the years of playing Animal Jam. Trading was the main feature in Animal Jam that kept players playing, but as I said before, when they added the My Shops, it became another addictive, exciting feature, one that keeps players playing. For a while, the My Shops are always being used to sell rare clothing items, rare den items, rare pets, anything of that nature. Heck, they were even being used for drawing commissions. But then something changed. Something prehistoric and something mythical. If you don't know where I'm going with this, I'm referring to the dinosaurs and fantasy animals. Animal HQ decided one day, Hey, let's add animals that maybe aren't technically animals. And let's add them as pets. Pets that you can grow up to become playable animals. For a while, this had some controversy. At first, a lot of players thought the inclusion of dinosaurs was weird, as they were extinct animals. And I guess you could argue that we don't exactly know how they would have looked back before they went extinct. Dinosaurs could have had feathers, for all we know. I'm not saying they did. I'm just saying that... I think that's why people complained about dinosaurs being in Animal Jam. I think? I'm not sure, honestly. I always loved their inclusion, as I'm a big reptile fan. Anyway, by the time unicorns came to Animal Jam, people also complained that they are a fantasy animal, and that that's not a real animal. And I can't argue with that. It's true, unicorns aren't real. Sorry for anybody who thought they were. But I don't think that's any reason to not include them to the game. Unicorns, despite being unreal, are very popular mythical animals, especially with younger kids, but even older people such as myself. And the dragons are also very popular mythical animals. Since they've been added to the game, players have been crazy about them. To be honest, I think the idea of an animal that's not real or folklore is just a neat concept to people, which is why these animals are so beloved. I think if they added a griffin to the game, it would also get the same attention as the unicorns and dragons did. Anyway, now that I've talked about the controversy of these animals and their popularity to players in the game, I want to discuss how they have impacted the game. Back before these pets that could involve were introduced, we had regular pets. Some that had become rare over time, but that was when the pets had been out of stores for a long time. Only then would players consider them to be worth something. Then Animal Jam added a feature where you could essentially gamble for pets in the game. I remember making a video a while back on it when it first happened. But basically, you would use a pet token to get a randomly selected pet with randomly chosen colors. Full odds. Fully uncertain on what you'd get. Up until that point, Animal Jam never had anything like that before, so it was quite the shock to me at the time. But it's nothing compared to the dinosaurs and the fantasy animals. Animal Jam made the dinosaurs hatch from eggs with a completely random color scheme. You could get these eggs from Graham for around 250 sapphires, then hatch them into pet dinosaurs, with no idea what you'd get, or if the colors would even be good. They also did pretty much the same thing with the mythical animals, 
where you'd use a wish token to get a randomly generated dragon or unicorn, but this time, they did allow you to use more wish tokens to guarantee certain features and colors. Although, wish tokens aren't exactly easy things to come by, so it's not something you want to be wasting 5 of. And the overall addiction there is with using wish tokens on the unicorns and dragons is insane. People are paying a ton of money for these wish tokens, even though they are considered to be overpriced in the Sapphire store by many. People are pricing wish tokens in the my shops for as low as 1,400, and all the rest are higher or max priced, when a lot of the pet dragons aren't nearly as much. And I'm aware, it's definitely because they have bad colors and features. Although, I've seen some decent looking pet dragons that go way lower than any wish token. So it's really crazy to think, you could get a nice looking dragon for around 400 sapphires, or pay over a thousand for a wish token that's going to give you a dragon with randomly generated colors and features that potentially could look terrible and be worth more around 200 sapphires in the end. Just thought I'd mention that, as it kind of sort of blows my mind. So yeah, players are addicted to gambling with the wish tokens to see what dragon or unicorn they can receive. It might be really good, you could get a legendary one, but it also could look awful and not be a legendary epic or rare. It makes sense why people would get so invested in trying to get good dragons and unicorns for this reason. It's exciting when you do, but disappointing when you don't. And that disappointment might make you buy more wish tokens, with your sapphires or with your real money. Not to mention, not only are people addicted to the gambling part of the mythical animals, but people are addicted to the trading and the my shops for these pet dragons and unicorns. I see people everywhere constantly saying they have dragons on trade, saying they will trade anything for a dragon, for a wish coin. Sugar gliders? Who cares? I never see anybody asking about those guys anymore. They may be rare pets, but I swear people care way more about the prehistoric and mythical animals in the game. There is just something so exciting about them. I think because you can actually involve the pets up to become playable animals, which you cannot do with regular pets. And the dinosaurs, unicorns, and dragons are so popular to the point they don't have to be out of stores anymore to be classified as valuable, or worth anything for that matter. They can be available in-game as long as it's random odds for what colors, features, epic, rare, legendary status they have. They will be worth something to the players in Animal Gem. And I find that so interesting, because for so long, Animal Gem only had beta and rare items considered valuable, and now you could download Animal Gem, get yourself a wish token, use the wish token, and pull a legendary dragon right off the bat and technically have something of high value. That's insane, and not for a bad reason. If anything, I love this feature. I love the dragons and unicorns. I also love the dinosaurs too. I just feel like they're slightly overshadowed by the mythical animals now. I mean, that's not just me who thinks that, right? Anyway, overall, the addiction of the my shops and what essentially is gambling for pets has changed Animal Jam, at least in my opinion. Before this all, the main reason a lot of people would play was for the trading, but as you know now, players are just as invested in shopping with the Explorer feature with the My Shops and gambling for the prehistoric and fantasy animal pets. It's wild to think all these new features have come to Animal Gem and made as big of an impact as they did. Animal Gem is a very fun game that reels you into the gameplay with its addictive features, and Animal Jam HQ is aware of this too. They knew dragons would be successful, so even if they overprice the wish tokens, they know players will still buy them. Anyway, that's it for this video. I feel like I've discussed all that I wanted to. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, just didn't get the time until now. I find it so cool how much Animal Jam Mobile has changed from when I first downloaded it back in 2017. What do you guys think about all this? Are any of you addicted to the my shops and or gambling for the pet dragons and unicorns? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this far. It's been Liam Puppy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys all next time.